Excellencies, dear colleagues, friends, on behalf of the Ministry of Finance, it's my pleasure and an honor to participate in Abu Dhabi Sustainable Finance Forum in its fourth edition. I would like to thank Abu Dhabi Global Market for arranging this forum of special importance to our climate action goals. I look forward to your participation and contribution and for the enhanced multilateral action and support to the sustainable development objectives. In the UAE, we remain committed to our 2050 net neutrality targets, where we have invested more than $40 billion to date in clean energy projects. As we do so, we aim to promote sustainability and pave the way for the UAE hosting COP28 next year. Our commitments built on the UAE's deep roots of climate action that started in 1989 with the ratification of the Vienna Convention through the Kyoto Protocol in 2005 and passed the UAE Alliance with the Paris Agreement in 2015. As a testament to our commitment, the UAE recently announced an additional $160 billion investment for clean and renewable energy sources over the next three decades. <clears throat> we will continue to execute facets of the sustainability agenda and collectively with our partnering UAE ministries and public authorities evaluate its relevance towards the achievement of commitments that were announced during the COP26. Specifically, the Ministry of Finance will be focused on increasing the adoption of sustainable financing and enabling regulatory efforts that will derive capital towards investments that have positive economic, social, and environmental impact. After all, climate change poses significant long-term threats to almost every economic sector. Our best chance, therefore, is to mitigate these threats and enhance our vigilance to embed ECG and sustainable finance as a crucial pillar behind our doers. In the next context, we are working with expanding context of ESG itself, where it has now come to include important and at times overlooked measures such as social equity and data security. Some recently announced green financing deals in the UAE have actively begun to define and implement these definitions and their practices. Our government entities, including the Ministry of Finance, are prepared to implement practical solutions to calibrate efforts towards sustainable development while upholding the economic growth of our country. As an international business hub, we are home to thousands of companies across a variety of sectors and industries. This provides us with ample opportunities to embed ESG practices into the mainstream. Many of these companies are publicly listed and therefore increasingly bound to ESG reporting standards and voluntary disclosure guidelines. In fact, studies point to a positive correlation between the adoption of ESG practices and corporate governance and long-term financial performance. This carries a number of important considerations for investment investors and businesses in the UAE. First, ESG factors are becoming an integral means toward attractive financing for businesses. A growing base of investors are increasingly considering them to support their investment decisions and diversify their portfolios. In fact, the majority of investors in the UAE are interested in or already are embracing ESG in their investment decisions. Second, from the perspective of investors, ESG priorities are becoming the, the rule, not the exception. Investors in the UAE have shown great appetite to supporting the realization of sustainability objectives. Third, the small to medium-sized enterprises will increasingly find the need to embed ESG practices into their corporate governance structures. We envision the future to entail mandatory disclosures of sustainability and climate change data that will dictate businesses to access finance, market access, and integration into regional and global supply chain. In this context, the adoption of ESG practices is evolving into a competitive advantage for companies and will quickly develop into an essential success factor. Companies that follow along this trajectory now will not only be in a better position to adopt to a new regulation, but they will also have access to better investment and finance options in the future. 
At the Ministry of Finance, we approach this agenda from a sustainable finance ang angle as we work to build on the strong momentum to restore fiscal depth and recover better and more sustainable. We have now received an invitation to participate in the G20 by the Indonesian presidency, which represents our third consecutive participation in this important global policy forum. Our efforts in the UAE will aim to continue to inform and enhance the G20 sustainable finance agenda and bring our collective sustainable finance goals to realization. This achievement requires the encouragement of our G20 peers and private sector partners, fine tune the roles of ministries of finance on a wider scale to promote ESG practices. Through our participation in the G20 this year, our aim is to pave the way for the UAE COP28 agenda while continuing to drive efforts in the UAE to achieve net neutrality. These efforts will serve as the intersection of G20 priorities, the UAE national sustainability initiatives and commitments, the Ministry of Finance objectives, and COP28 now and in the future. We hope to work even more closely with our climate conscious peers to continue to derive sustainability efforts at home and around.